Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and welcome to episode 46. My name is Richard Ishwood, I'm a registered nurse, and I have a clinic in the UK called No More Earwax. Interesting case this, and I must preface this by saying all these videos are, uh, are only uploaded with patient's permission and full consent. Um, and I also must preface this by saying I'm a registered nurse, and yes, I have quite a lot of experience, but I'm not uh, a doctor. Uh, I'm not a consultant. It's not my job to diagnose any issues. It's my job to spot potential issues and then forward them on um, to the relevant consultants and ENT specialists. So we did find something in this lady's ear that I think needs looking into. And a few of you might have uh, seen these kind of ones before. Um, it's an extremely narrow ear canal. Um, and what I'm using there is the fine end suction tube that's the smaller of the two we use it's it's only a millimeter in its conference it, it's absolutely tiny um and yeah she'd been having a bit of hearing loss uh, for quite some time and she thought that uh, her ear was blocked as it was the other one wasn't uh, but this one wasn't she was struggling to hear out of it now she did say hearing had improved um quite a bit uh, after this had been removed but not completely back to how she would expect and after we remove this, we'll probably see the, the reason why that is. Now, you can see this plug there, it's, it's already quite mobile, it's riddling around, it's just putting up a, a little bit of a struggle on the way out. I think of actually trying to turn it round a bit so I can get hold of a slightly flatter edge on just on the right hand side of it there, and then we can uh, uh, start to, to wiggle it out. And out it pops, and as you can see, it's quite a dark, black, dense plug which tells us that it's been there quite some time. And you'll see when I go back in again in a second, um, there's something that concerned me a little bit, which is why I was zooming in quite close there. Um, so on your, behind your eardrum, you have a bone, and you'll see a bone there going vertically across, slightly off towards the left. Uh, that's called the malleus bone. And what can happen with this particular condition, which I'm not saying is what it is, you'll see that there's an area, uh, there's a pocket that's retracted, and that's called a retraction po uh, pocket in the attic region, which is in that region there, where the bone's pushing through, and there's a little um, so a pocket that's, that's, that's dipping back down, and this is what it could be. I'm not saying it is, um, but when you see a little retraction pocket in that area, that l does lead you to think it, it needs to be investigated for cholesteatoma. Now, what is that? Uh, when you get these little pockets like that, you can get a collection of um, skin in there. Skin always tries to migrate out of the ear, but because you've got that pocket there, the skin fails to migrate, kind of gets stuck in there, and it can actually start growing inwards uh, towards the middle ear, and it can uh, infiltrate the uh, uh, the bones there, the bones of hearing, the organ of hearing, and it can affect your hearing, and can become potentially quite serious. Now, hopefully this is quite early, if that's what it is. And like I said, that's not my job to diagnose, but uh, obviously as soon as I saw this, uh, I sent an image, a video, and a referral letter to the patient's GP asking for uh, an urgent uh, ENT referral, which is what I explained to the patient. Um, but anyway, if I hear any more, I will keep you updated on that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that, found that interesting and informative. Um, but for now, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.